Welcome to Planet X Hunting. There's something out there and it's causing chaos around our skies. Look up, be aware, and enjoy your life. <laughs> Hello there. I am going to read a little part from a book I started writing. Um, this is just a little snip from chapter one. I hope you enjoy it. This is where we start our long journey with the young Rosalina. But as you will find out in the story, it didn't take long before our hero had noticed things up here in her new home of cold air seemed very different from the Southlands, which is where she had been moved from after a tragic accident involving her parents. Especially the people that she had met here they were never wanting to do or had any time for playing games, creating things, not even having hobbies to enjoy. Unless King Edgar, also known to the locals as Mr. Edgar, he always had new ideas for everyone to be working on, like the new strange underlink transportation system down by the canals. It's leading across to the east. People assume it's easier to go under than through the marshes. Everyone in the village was working on it. All for the people working on it. All the men, women and children was helping. In one way or another, everybody was involved. Over to the south of the castle, in the distance, not too far away from the village, was a large woodland and there, at the heart, stood towering above the rest of the woods, a gnarly, very grumpy old oak tree. It was situated in a tight clearing, right at the very centre of the woods. Its flaying branches lay just out of reach of the other cowering bushes and trees. A rustic, barely passable, ruined pathway twisted and turned from one side to the other as it snaked through the woods. The woods, which were called Dracola Woods from tales of old, and now no one dares mention Dracola. If spoken about, they would just say the dark woods in a loud tone and always, always add a scary story too mainly due to their own fears, maybe. Many people who lived in Kaldar all their lives had never even dared go into the woods. Right at the very heart stands a huge and scary oak tree. It gnarls and moans loudly in the slightest of winds and its twisted, almost human-like arms and finger-like branches would be stretching out in all directions, like a spider scurrying and clutching as if to be catching its prey, long spindly fingers creeping down from above, like shrieking twisted shadows howling in the wind, reaching down, clutching and grasping, trying to catch any unsuspecting travellers, tangling their hair as they walked by making them scream and run away in terror, leaving Cold Hour. Well, there you go. Um, I shall stop it there and let you know, well, if you could let me know what you think and if I should continue. I will be writing the book, but if you want me to read it as I write, then let me know. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you for being here at Joe Awesome One channel. I love you all so, so much. Before you go, there's uh, my latest post and a playlist ready for you on the screen now. I'm over on the right if you wish to subscribe, no pressure. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you all for being with me.